In a dark, nameless corner of the world existed twelve weapons, so powerful they disrupted the very fabric of space in the dimensional vortex. Their source was the twelve spirits of Chedrin. The rare powers they possessed have left them without happiness, detached from reality and disgraced, having given up all loyalties. All these spirits will hear are the voices of the strong. They search for them, for those who are just and full of integrity. In responding to their call, one must stand unshaking. The twelve weapons can only be ascertained by those able to do so. This is the story of Elnat, the friendly robot. Originally built as guard robot by a lone scientist, Elnat's purpose was to guard a certain man and his family. Being with the family and experiencing love and acceptance from the family eventually gave Elnat a soul. The lone scientist, however, became jealous of the relationship between Elnat and the family, leading him to rewrite the program which turned Elnat into a killing machine. Elnat followed its new commands and killed all those who were close to it. Since then, Elnat went into hiding in hopes of staying as far as from people as possible. Somehow, later, Elnat found the Chamber of Arms to hide in and became the guardian of the Maze of Zeus. Within the story of Elnat, we see the aspect of love. And since the Guardian have all a tragic backstory on what we focus on, the aspect of jealousy. We will start with the aspect of love and work ourselves through the aspect of jealousy and what effect it had on Elnat. Love is possibly the most important feeling for humans. The love shared between the family and Elnat was huge, which we see when Elnat plays his memories in the battle. The man replied, Thank you so much, Elnat. Elnat stayed silent. The man replied, What are you talking about? You, me and my daughter are a family, don't you think? The daughter replied, We are! F-A-M-I-L-Y The man replied, We are family, always and forever. Elnat replied, Always. We see that Elnat wasn't just love, it went so far that the family was willing to accept a guard robot as a part of the family. This is the major problem here. We have no idea which relationship the man had with the scientist. It was never said if they were brothers, best friend, or if the father just requested a god robot from any scientist without knowing him. However, I doubt that they didn't know each other well, otherwise the scientist wouldn't have known that they developed such a relation to Elnat. But seeing that a robot experienced more love than the lonely scientist made him absolutely jealous for having no one and nothing. What is the point in life? if you have nobody to share it with? What is the point in all the hard work if nobody acknowledges it? From Elnat's memories, we can't tell if the man ever thanked the scientist and, and if it was just a normal thanks or if it showed the appreciation of the man. This jealousy grew so big that the scientist literally went mad by reprogramming Elnat to a killing machine and forcing Elna to take actions against its will. When looking at the different faces, we also see in how far the killing program controls Elna and in how far Elna can stop the killing program. In phase 1, Elna acts entirely just as programmed with the words I am Elna, the friendly robot. I will destroy you all. The scientist clearly left that friendly robot so the family doesn't recognize that Elnat has been ro reprogrammed until Elnat says so and starts with a killing rampage.
In phase 1 the voice recording playback gets rejected and the system prioritizes battle system due to the fact that the killing program is in charge. At phase 2 the system is damaged and try to repair itself but it somehow gets rejected and the voice recording playback starts to play showing that Elnat is starting to gain control over the killing program. The kill program however is still in charge and interrupts the voice recording playback and goes over to transformation. In phase 3 the brain explodes, therefore no more voice recording playbacks and the system automatically goes to the emergency files of the killing program because Elnat refuses to submit, leading to the type 999 genocide mode. After defeating Elnat, Elnat gains control over the system and refuses to recover or retreat. Its soul gets free and the last part of the voice recording playback gets played as the last bit that remained from the machine. Elnat thanks us, also known as the player or the team, for ending his fight with the program it was combined with. Jealousy is what caused all this disaster. Forcing someone to kill its beloved, I can't think of anything more cruel. The worst part about all this is that Elnat wasn't capable of stopping itself from doing so, leaving Elnat in fear that it could harm any more innocent people. In comparison to Shiratan's sh tragedy, this could have easily been avoided if the family would have shared some feelings for the scientist of, or if the scientist would have be built a machine for itself to not feel lonely anymore or anything else. The story of Elna teaches us that loneliness is a poison that kills us from the inside, slowly but definitely, and jealousy is an uncontrolled flame. The more you let it grow, the less repellable it becomes. I hope you enjoyed this video. First of all, um, if you liked this theme that I played the melody in the background, this was the Legend of Mana title theme, also one of my most favorite PlayStation 1 games. And next to that, special thanks to my little sister who was the voice of the daughter. You can check out her content in YouTube, she is actually a better YouTuber than me, but <coughs> I don't want to talk about that. As usual, I'll talk about the design choices of the cre game developer, why they chose this design for Elnat and not any different design for the different faces, so let's start with, with phase 1. In phase 1, Elnat is in its original form, since Elnat is supposed to be a guard robot and a guard robot is not really a robot that necessarily needs to walk, so he just needs to be anchored on the place that he's supposed to guard and this is exactly what we can see in this face because I mean just look at it it's literally anchored in the ground it can't move or anything it just can aim on something and shoot if you want to say that in phase 2 the face opens up and the guns coming out of the original mouth become his arms well you see I tried to animate that but that didn't work very well Therefore, Elnat reveals its killer face and is less immobile. I don't have an actual picture of phase 3 because I couldn't find one in the wiki, but in phase 3, after destroying the arms and attacking Elnat, the brain gets destroyed and, well, there isn't much to tell about why this design has been chosen. It's literally the same design as phase 2, except the brain is destroyed. And with all that said, this was the design explanation of Elnat and the entire video about the story of Elnat. I hope you enjoyed this. Next time we will talk about the story of Alhina and the aspects of betrayal. With all that said, until next time.